Welcome everybody <laughs> to this community call on the topic of learning uh, and peer coaching system of cities of learning. So how today is going to go, I will really shortly present the peer coaching guidelines that you can also find in chat, also you got it on your emails. But the main point of today is that then you meet in your trios and discuss when can you maybe meet next time, but mostly to get to know each other, to see on which level of which stage your cities of learning is, how you can support each other, how you can exchange ideas. And in the end, of course, we'll be here with for any open questions that you will might have. Here we go. And if you haven't read the guidelines in detail yet, no problem. That's why the today's um, community call is here. Also, you have chance to do it in details later. But when we started to discuss why do we need or why do, why do we wish to have the peer coaching initiative, it was, I think, these three main points. And I also sublined uh, the words that I think are very important, which is that we really establish this framework of collaborative learning support. Like uh, we saw, 25 cities and partners of the network joined today's community call. So we all have various realities, various knowledge, very, various history within the Cities of Learning Network. So I think this is a base of lots of knowledge and experience that we can share and help um, each other grow. Also, the idea is that because sometimes is we know the group work makes the dream work and it's nice that you can meet in group of individuals from different levels and different uh, variety of work that can help each other grow like i already said but also voice some ideas some dilemmas or open questions or also initiatives that can then really come from partnership that we really co-create this international network together which leads, uh, leads me then to the final point which is that we offer each other mutual support and really co-create the network and the partnerships together but what peer coaching trios really are so why to join, why do we have them, why do we wish to meet. We want them to be this platform where we can meet, share, reflect, exchange possible um, insight, but also, you know, aspire and learn from each other and help the network to have more and more initiatives, more and more partnerships. Also, in the end of the presentation, we will promote three initiatives now in progress. So this is also the idea that we can do this in smaller teams. Um, the idea is that trios have really flexible uh, structure so that the trios uh, meet as they need it. So the three members, the partnership city meet when they can, how they can and support each other in one what they need. And of course, yeah, to use these um, meetings, uh, which you can structure as you wish, but to use them to address potential uh, benefits, challenges, ideas. With the idea that, yeah, that our network and partnership grow even more and that we really in practice leave this idea of vibrant learning ecosystems and that the network serves the partners which are in it, uh, promoting, of course, our vision, our mission uh, and promote the lifelong and continuous learning all over, but especially through um, cities of learning. Yeah, now there are some crucial steps, let's call them. I think we uh, mapped four uh, main steps. So definition of clear objectives. So why do we have the trio? Why are we meeting then matching trio teams? This was in a way already done. Of course, there is maybe room for uh, mismatching again if needed. Then we wish to offer you tools to support the peer coaching session and, of course, really to establish a community where we share our not just resources, but also ideas and knowledge. In matching the trios, as you see, and as Nerius already mentioned, the trio has been matched a little bit on the stages of development of your city. I like to say maybe this is professional background being a psychologist, but like in Piaget's theory, you know, that we join together people who are more new to the partnership, to the network, to those who have been, have been more experienced, have been part of it for a longer time, so we can help each other grow. And also that new members can bring new ideas and new questions that help us um, build new initiatives. Of course, tool for support, we did um, already plan, and I will shortly present a kind of structure framework with you, which you and your trios can use. But of course, if there are any ideas, 
welcome to share also or follow your own individual ideas of how uh, would you like to meet and what um, uh, steps to follow in your meetings. And of course, you know, research sharing, not just to invite you again to use all the resources we are sharing on Cities of Learning Network channels already. So also in our WhatsApp group, in our Slack channels, but also everything that is this huge bank of material resources uh, available on our platforms and our openly um, reachable documents, I would say, and, and sources. In the guidelines, we where uh, I really invite you invite you to read them. I think it's on a total only eight pages, so really use them. Um, but there are four main steps that are explained in detail. I will not explain all four steps in detail now because you can read it. But um, the steps follow on how you form your trio or what was our idea behind forming the trios or inviting you to join. Then how you can prepare for trio meetings what to do before your meeting, uh, how to complete self-assessment um, tools and using the tools that we provided um, so you can see where in which stage of the development of your city of learning you are, how you can contribute, how you maybe, um, how, what you need in to even develop further. Then inviting you to utilize your trio time effectively. We know and I know that we're all busy with different projects on local, national, international level, but to really think smartly of how this um, trio time can help you benefit in expanding all your work. And of course, you know, in the end, always addressing possible challenges and questions that we can then sh you can share with the partnership and maybe also find existing support from other trios. So I think I think we can also be open that if there is the need that maybe in form like now on community calls we meet regularly to share what each trio has been discussing and how we can even use and utilize the power of the network so you will also see in the guidelines we propose structure of how which structure to which you can follow in um, you when meeting with your trios so if really there is everything there for you to start of course invited to use your own ideas and, and structures and, and discuss your own task and open questions but if really busy and with no ideas um, we kind of gave you all the tools and resources that you can start at least for the first few meetings so do not and also do not forget um, because sometimes we like to forget when uh, we do programs for our target groups we are very structured and we know how to do but when it comes to ourselves and our meetings we are really straight to the point so do use your time to check in how you are how you're doing what has been new for your organization for your city of learning what is the uh, focus of the meeting that you're uh, what do you want to focus about is it to share some challenges is it to explore a um, new initiative is it to maybe uh, think on what else or what new can be done uh, with the support of Cities of Learning Network. So really have your focus time. And of course, in the end, also always assess, do, do this trio meeting support you? Do you gain benefit from it? Is it um, beneficial for you as organization and Cities of Learning? I think also potential situation or uh, actions that you can ta take that you maybe start with some storytelling maybe sharing your ideas sharing your journey how can we join the partnership what have you been doing until now what have been the biggest challenges but also what have been the biggest benefit and what has been the thing that has worked i know that every time we meet on partners meeting and on some projects just these things that we take for granted um, maybe gives ideas to somebody else and help them grow their local initiative also i would say don't be afraid of possible awkward silence, do aggressive, address it, share your feelings and maybe allow also this to help you see what might be the topic of the next trio meeting. But also I would say do focus, stay focused, see maybe we can also in a way, yes, it is peer coaching, but use it as sort of supervision and follow those directions also that we always have a goal for each meeting that we meet and that in the end we want to see that we do benefit from this meeting, that it's not just another thing which we are joining, but it should be always purposeful. Of course, you are not alone. Uh, you all know Nerius. <laughs> you now also know me. 
but if there are any assistance that you need, like it was sent in the email, also in the guidelines, please don't hesitate to contact us, to ask us for support, to ask if you are maybe feel lost on the purpose, how, so really stay in contact to all of our channels and know that we are here to help you develop your trios, even help with some brainstorming of what can be addressed.